viewed by most of the business people who are startups. So I just want to add value to them as well. So what, what do you think as a startup, as today's startup, today if somebody's starting, um, you know, what social media platform they should be looking into? Sure. Um, it depends what kind of industry they're in. Yeah. So the question you've got to ask yourself is where is your, where is your customer's attention? Yeah. Um, so if you're, if you're in a business-to-business -business type comp, uh, arrangement, then you're targeting uh, other businesses. For example, they'll have a key decision maker, and it may be the director, yeah. um, it may be the HR manager, it may be the procurement manager, you know, it could be even the facility services manager, depending on what service you're offering. In that case, LinkedIn is going to be the most effective for business-to-business. -business. Um, yeah. It's the largest business social media site out there. Um, if you're in business-to-consumer, you're selling T-shirts or... Um, you're a rock band, yeah. Facebook's probably going to be more effective because that's more of a business to consumer type platform. Um, ideally, you'd be on all of them. Uh, but I think the most important thing as a startup is to focus your energy on where your customers are and really um, go, you know, f full out in that platform rather than trying to spread your resources too thin too early. Yeah, look, this is what I've seen in the startup as well. Like I made the same sort of mistakes in the past as well, but this is what I'm seeing at the moment as well, that a lot of startups uh, start actually expanding themselves into different platforms without knowing which one actually helped them or could actually help them more. Um, you know, mm. start, uh, using Twitter as well, using Instagram, using Facebook, using LinkedIn, pretty much everywhere. And none of them um, are sort of doing anything what they're supposed to be doing. So what do you reckon? So rather than concentrating on a lot of other channels, just start working on, uh, um, you know, just one or two uh, from your experience. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the, and the, the great thing about um, uh, LinkedIn is even though it's a business to business type um, social media site, it's still very personal. Yep. Um, so focus on your personal brand. Uh, it's always going to be more effective than the company page or the company yeah, brand yeah. and build your relationships, build up strong business um, networks. And what will happen is if your target market is a, let's say you target dentists, for example, um, as you grow your connections with dentists, uh, it'll fi you'll find that you get a critical mass. And next time you send a connection request to a dentist and they can see, oh, you've, you've got 300 connections in common who are also dentists, there's going to be more chance that they're going to engage with you. So yeah. you start to um, get economies of scale and that kind of thing. So if you haven't got a niche, I'd encourage you to get one. Um, you'd find that your social media marketing will work a lot be better for you. When um, A great example, I would do a lot of work with Westpac, um, yep. the bank, and um, a lot of the uh, financial advisors, um, you know, they... they if you ask them who their target market is, they say, well, anyone with money or anyone with a super yeah, fund. True. Uh, whereas the guys that say, hey, look, I'm going to specialize in dentists, for example, yeah. um, I'm, and all of a sudden you're the SMSF specialist for dental practitioners. When you contact a dentist, they've got a much higher chance of responding to you because you're the specialist in you know, that area. Yep, yep.